I show up just after noon at the lot downtown to start setting up and the very first thing I see is a massive hole where a snowman should be. So I pull up my phone, text the, the whole team, and very quickly by their responses I could tell that snowman is supposed to be there. Real lousy way, especially if I'm trying to wrap up hometown holidays with a couple of events. Uh, but you know, we talked as a team, we were like, you know what, let's try to have a little bit of fun with this. So I mock up real fast a uh, missing snowman's poster and let's see what happens. Basically zero chance anything comes of this. One of the main problems we were dealing with was we had no idea when this thing had gone missing. The last time we had seen the snowman was our final event before uh, Christmas with Hometown Holidays, which would have been December 19th. And it's now December 28th, so we're looking at like a nine day span. Immediately in the comments, people start posting timestamp photos of them with their family and their pets with Frosty. So we narrow it down by a few more days and a few more, and then finally somebody posts one the night before. So now we know officially Frosty did go missing that night. So already the tips were flying in and super helpful. Then Friday morning comes the ultimate tip. Here's a picture of a Frosty the Snowman hiding behind a tree in a neighborhood somewhere with the question, is this him? And I'm peering on my phone, I'm thinking, if that's not him, then somebody has the exact same snowman as decoration. And I don't think you usually hide your decorations uh, behind the tree. So I blast it off uh, to our team real fast. They call, uh, you know, the, our police contact. We swing by and sure enough, there he is, sitting right there. Somebody had decided to leave him in someone else's front yard as a prank, practical joke, who knows what. So all things considered, we found out Frosty was missing just after noon on Thursday, and by 1.45 on Friday, he was back in our office. When we thought there was no chance we were ever gonna see this snowman again, he was back. And it just turned the whole story upside down. Like I said, from the beginning, it's like, who would do this? Who would go and, you know, mess with what's been such a fun event for everybody, all these hometown holidays events. And then immediately the community rallies around. They're throwing out timestamp photos to help you out. People are obviously have their eyes open while they're driving around. Even people just making, you know, fun jokes in the comments just lightened the whole mood and turned this story from a really unfortunate theft, a theft, a valuable piece of property going missing into the community rallying together and leading to probably a record return of a stolen snowman. Uh, and really that's what makes Mansfield so special and that's what we always want hometown holidays to be all about. Uh, bringing people together over the holiday season uh, to have a bunch of fun. It was even great just to see people posting their pictures of Frosty. They show people were turning out day after day to take these pictures. It was like, oh cool, the stuff we've done, people have actually enjoyed throughout the month. And luckily we got Frosty back thanks to all of your help and ended up putting a great capper on the holiday season. Uh, didn't let the old Scrooges and Grinches uh, steal the day.